day of Christmas my true love gave to me a totally insufficient dowry. It's that time of the year when Mariah Carey comes out of hibernation and companies worldwide play the most original game in the world. Thank you, Secret Santa. Our big techies decided to play their version of Santa, but not so secretly. They went all out with it. It's 12 days of shitmas. Oops, Christmas for OpenAI. Okay, they didn't hand out cards, but they sure have been releasing products. I mean, one new product so far. Rest all were features and iterations to be more specific. Apart from the full version of O1 reasoning model with a pro subscription of $200 per month being released on day one, what really happened? No, just I, no. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't pine tune his models. <laughs> oh jeez. They launched Sora Turbo, the advanced text to video tool Sora, which they initially unveiled 10 months ago. Then there were announcements such as ChatGPT integration with Apple Intelligence. ChatGPT projects to organize your ChatGPT interactions, Canvas, an interface for collaborative writing and coding. Oh my God, I'm going to fall asleep. Well, honestly, I was sleeping when the releases were happening. Oh, they even released a ChatGPT search for free users, which, by the way, gave this result when I tried it. Made up information. December seven and eight was a weekend. There were no releases. All right, all right. OpenAI did put in a lot of effort to pre-record these videos. I also appreciate the efforts taken in props, headbands, caps, sweaters, and a simple setup. It's quite Christmassy. All right, I understand the 12 days of marketing. Oops, I mean Christmas for OpenAI is not over, and probably something big might come out. But going by the last few days trend, well, but guess who is stealing OpenAI's limelight during this time? What OpenAI is struggling to do over 12 days, Google is probably doing it in a day. That too, one day at a time, launching advanced models and products. Gemini 2.0, their advanced AI model with AI agents and multimodality. Vio 2, their latest text-to-video generation model. Genie 2, interactive 3D environments from images. Whisk AI image generation using image prompts and other models made valuable on Vertex AI. And of course, Vilo. Google's latest quantum chip that outperforms supercomputers in specific benchmarks. So when Google released Vilo, the most advanced quantum chip in the world, which completed a benchmark computation in 5 minutes that would have typically taken a classical supercomputer hundreds of years, what did OpenAI release? Oh, oh, oh. Well, hello there. It's delightful to hear from you. Okay. Moving on, Anthropic released their AI model Claude Haiku 3.5, which is the latest iteration of the AI company's smallest and fastest model. Also, they have completed training for Opus 3.5, which is their largest model yet that is expected to release next year. Pretty cool. While all this is happening, one important person came up, announced something impactful, and quietly went away. No drama, no marketing, nothing. And who was that? We have one more release for the year. Llama 3.3 is a new 70 billion parameter text model that performs about as well as our 405 billion parameter model,、uh, but now it is easier and more efficient to run. He said this is the last AI update of the year. Spoke about how cool Meta AI has been with nearly 600 million monthly actives, Llama having 600 million downloads, and said the next stop is Llama 4. For which they're building a two gigawatt plus data center in Louisiana. Yep, nothing fancy. Gave the yearly report, future path, and went on to celebrate his holidays. So be a Mark, not a Sam. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Sorry. Thanks for watching my reaction video. I'm Vandana Nayak, your AI roaster. Think AI, think AI.